This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Good morning, Arizona. I'm Javier Soto. Here are the latest stories we're following from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. Today's second lady, Karen Pence, will visit Luke Air Force Base and meet with military spouses. She's expected to be joined by Governor Doug Ducey and Secretary of the Air Force Barbara Barrett. Tomorrow, her husband, Vice President Mike Pence, will also be in Arizona hosting a Veterans for Trump event at the Wigwam Resort in the West Valley. Earlier in the day, he'll participate in a roundtable to mark Hispanic Heritage Month. New details in the case of a missing North Phoenix mom, Julie Concheldi, uh, believe uh, officers believe that she was murdered by her husband of 30 years. According to police, they narrowed in on Joseph Concheldi when they checked his phone records and discovered he had been having an affair with someone he met on a dating app. He told police he last saw Julie September 4th when the two got into an argument over vacation plans. He says he then drove to Payson to go camping alone, but police discovered he was actually with the woman that weekend instead. Neighbors are stunned. Our thoughts and prayers go to their family and, uh, you know, a grieving a loss. I, I can't imagine what that would be like. When investigators walked into the couple's home, they found a significantly sanitized crime scene. Police analyzed samples collected from inside the house and discovered Julie's blood. A judge has set bond at $2 million in cash. More than 50 undocumented immigrants were taken into custody after a human smuggling bus near 27th Avenue and Indian School. Our Arizona's family drone was flying over that home as dozens of people were seen sitting on the ground outside. At one point, 20 of the individuals involved tried to get away running through a neighborhood yard. Agents haven't said whether they were able to capture the suspected smugglers. Happy Thursday, meteorologist Kim Quintero here. We are in store for a very hot day across the valley. Excessive heat warnings in effect from 10 a.m. until 8 p.m. this evening for Metro Phoenix. Our forecast high 109. If we hit that, we would tie the daytime high temperature record set for today back in 1962. Sunshine, although you may see some wildfire smoke from time to time, and then we do have a high pollution advisory for ozone. After today, temperatures are going to gradually come down. We'll be in 105 territory through the weekend, low 100s early next week. All right, be careful out there, Arizona. Thank you, Kim. For updates and more stories, all you have to do is download the Arizona's Family News app and make sure you subscribe on our YouTube and Roku channels. I'm Javier Soto. Good morning, Arizona.